Hi, on with our rough guide to competition karate. Now what I'm going to do now is show you the techniques and uh, things that you can't do and then we'll go on to the techniques that you can do. Now with the can't do list, I'm going to ask Daniel to come on and help me with this. Daniel, come over there. Can I just swap places for you? Yeah, that's it. Great. Okay. First of all, techniques you can't do. No kicks to the groin. No stamp kick to the knee. No attack in the thighs. You're not allowed to stamp on the person's foot or on their toes. You're not allowed to open hand attack or touch the throat in any way whatsoever. No open hand techniques to the face are allowed. Obvious reasons there from a self safety point of view. You're not allowed to grab the person and put them into an arm lock or a wrist lock. No points for that. You're not allowed to knee them. You're not allowed to elbow. You're not allowed to pull their ears off or hair or pinch. You're not allowed to grab them around the neck and punch seven bells out of them either. doesn't really leave a lot. So what are you allowed to do? In order to show you that, I'm going to get Daniel and Amy to demonstrate some techniques for us. So, Daniel, if you'd like to go back to your side, you'll notice again that the red fighter is on the right-hand side of the referee. That's your left, but that's my right. Amy is the blue fighter, is on my left. Japanese word for red, aka. Japanese for blue, ow. So here we've got the distinguishing between the two fighters. Let's see what we can score with. So Amy, would you go right stance for a moment? And if you go left stance for a minute, Daniel, get a little bit closer. Now, if Daniel does reverse punch to Amy's body, push in, do reverse punch, Daniel. Wow. One point, one point. If it's done with all the correct criteria, good technique, good speed, good power, good form, good focus, then it would attract one, referee, uh, one point from the referee. Punch to the face, again if it's done with control, good technique, one point again. Amy does a face punch with her front arm, front snap punch, again as long as it follows the correct criteria, one point. Daniel does a back fist, you rack hand to Amy's head. One point. Any punch or, or hand strike to the body or to the head should attract one point. Of course, if Daniel does two punches and punches face body, and if both techniques are correctly done and on target, which I don't think the first one was there, Daniel, you want to try that one again? So go face punch, body punch. One point, one point, it could attract a score of two points from the referee. What about kicks? If Amy does a front snap kick, back leg Mike Gary, as long as it connects and the technique is good, two points. Can I just ask you all to, actually, just change stance, Daniel. If Amy does roundhouse kick to Daniel's back, Two points. In fact, any kick, as long as it's done with control and uh, it fulfills the correct criteria, should attract two points from the referee and judges. What about head kicks? If Daniel steps up and does roundhouse kick to the face, as long as it's done again with control and good technique, three points. If Daniel does reverse roundhouse, for instance, off the back leg, Hopefully better than that. Can we do that again, Daniel? Yep. Good. Three points. In fact, any head kick should attract a three-point score. What about takedowns? What if Daniel was to sweep or take down Amy, but don't follow up? Go. How many points for the sweep, for the takedown? None. Because there's been no follow-up. 
Now, if having done the sweep, Daniel did a reverse punch to the head, for instance, as long as the punch was good, it should attract three points. Okay, thank you, you two. Jump back up again. So any sweep or takedown, as long as it uh, fulfills the criteria of the rules, should attract a score of three points, but there has to be an effective follow-up. Some anomalies to this. Can you go left start for a minute? Okay. Can you go left start for a minute? What if Daniel does a Maigiri kick and Amy blocks it and turns his body? Daniel's back is now exposed. If Amy does a reverse punch now or to the back of the head, that should attract two points. But generally speaking, any punches to the front of the face and head and body, one point. To the back, two points. Okay, thank you, guys. Now, what I'm going to do is, is we're going to actually fight through a mock fight, and we're going to look at what this happens to the scoreboard, and we'll look also at what the judge and the referee will do. Now, bear in mind this is only a pretend fight. We're not actually going to get these two to fight off. And please note that Lynn, as judge, as a flag judge, is in an incorrect position. The judges should actually sit here, here to the sides, and one right in front of where the camera is right now. So obviously we can't have the, the uh, flag judge there. So we've put Lynn so that you can see exactly what's going on. You'll notice that her red flag is in her right hand, so that if she indicates with the red flag, it's going to be a score for Daniel. If she indicates with the blue flag, it's going to be a score for Amy. So let's look at some potential scores. First of all, the referee would invite the two fighters on. They would have bowed, go to ready position, and the referee will announce the match. Shubo, Hajime means begin. So, let's just hold it for a second. They're eager to go, but let's just slow them down for a bit. Now, let's say that Amy makes an attack on Daniel, and as Daniel, uh, sorry, as Amy comes forward, Daniel does reverse punch body, bang. Yame! The referee will call stop. The fighters would go back to their positions, and the referee would indicate to which side he wants to give the point. If he thought Amy scored, he would have this hand out. As it happens, obviously it was Daniel's score, I've got my hand here. So I'm already showing who I want to give the score to. I would take note of the judges. Hopefully I would have at least one judge with a red flag out that would confirm what I want to do. So I would give one point to Daniel for that. Aka, Chudanzuki, Ippon. At that point the scorekeeper would do this. Daniel now takes a one-point lead. The referee would then go, Jazukate, Hajime, and the fight goes on. Let's say now that Amy steps up and does a reverse roundhouse kick to Daniel's head. Or even roundhouse kick to Daniel's head. Sorry. Lovely. Either way, we'll be the same result, Amy. So, a head kick, if the referee thinks it's good, Yummy! Again, they go back to their original position. The referee would indicate which side he's looking for. Have a look at the judge. Yes, nice, the blue flag's right up there. So long as he's got some support from one of the judges, I'm going to give three points to Amy. Ow, oh. Joe didn't get it. Sambon, scorekeeper. Would flip over three points. It's now 3-1 to Amy. Got to play catch up here, Daniel. Referee comes back. Jizukate, Jumai! And let's say that Daniel now does reverse punch and hooks the front leg of Amy and punches to the back. Yummy! Again, referee. Indicates who he wants to give it for. Let's have a look and see what opinion the judge has. Two points, because it was a punch to the back. Aka, Chudanzuki, Nihon. This now takes a score to three points each. From a time point of view, the fights may be of a minute and a half. Quite often at national level will be two minutes. International level for men will be three minutes. So the fighters would know that their time is running away. When there's 30 seconds left, the scorekeeper or the timekeeper would indicate 30 seconds left by shouting out 
or by blowing a whistle or making some other indication audibly that people would know there's only 30 seconds left. The referee would go, Atoshi Baraku, which means a little time left. Suzukate, Hajime. So Atoshi Baraku. Now, what's going to happen now is this. We'll give Daniel a step up reverse roundhouse kick, Daniel. Step up Gakka Mawash to the head. Okay, step up Mawash again. You're doing the same thing. Okay, either way. So the first kick wouldn't score because it hit Amy's arm. Second kick open to the face there. Yummy! Indicating who I want to give the score to. I've got a flag. Akko Jorengeri. Sound bomb. Now takes the score. Six three to Daniel. Now, obviously, other things may occur. For instance, Sukate Hajime. They may be fighting. They both punch at the same time. Bang. Pull punch back. The referee sees something. Yame! They go back to Yue, to their mark. I want to give red. I look at the judge, but the judge has got the flags in front of their eyes. That's called mine eye. And the judge is saying to me, didn't see anything. Now, I need some support from one of the other judges with this. If I've got three judges saying they didn't see anything, I can actually give the point. But I've got another judge giving something else, then I may have a problem. Again, if you look at the full rule book on the WKF website, you'll get a much better understanding of how the flags work. So in this instance, I'm still going to give the point to Daniel. Ako, Turanzuki, Pom! Of course, if the judge here had gone like this with, his, with her flags, that's indicating no score. Again, that's going to cause me a problem as a referee because uh, um, if I've got two or three judges doing that, it's, it's impossible to overrule them. So I too would have to give no score. This fight at the moment, if time runs out, would be 6-3 to Daniel, and the referee on hearing the completion of the bout would go, yummy! Cursory look at the score. I can catch means winner. If it was a draw, and the score was 3 3, the referee would go, you can whack a draw. And then they would do encho same, which is sudden death. First person to score would win. Alternatively, if the fight had been very one-sided, and red had scored no points, but blue was accumulating points, when the score reaches 8-0, the referee would stop the fight, and a catch, and award the match to the fighter with eight points. The only way of getting to know how to do this uh, more competently is to have a go. It's like anything else, the more you practice, the better your understanding, and the more skillful you become. Okay, about. Thank you, you too.